Okay, oh, I guess we don't reel it. <laughs> yeah, gotta love fishing mini game in a crime jump game. <laughs> oh, somebody got somebody's attention. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Yakuza 0. Now, if this is your first time in the series, do know that you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. However, if you are here with us live on Twitch, I do appreciate having you, each of you here, rather. Uh, like like when you, when you talk to me, when you uh, interact with me, uh, ask if I had a good brick, and all of that. Obviously, really do appreciate you folks. If you want to watch me live, you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash the biscuit eater every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's go ahead and continue on with the game. When last we left, we were looking for a couple of good fights after poaching a new hostess for our club, The Grand. And now Majima wants to go and catch some food and get some sleep. But we're not going to let him do that because he's got to get more fights because we need money. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. I'm the one who said, uh, brief, brief break wrong. Brief break, brief, 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 brief. I can't talk, so. It's all good. Let's go ahead and see if we run into any side stories along the way. Majima's got the weirdest side stories, too. But actually, first, we... what are you running from? Weird, okay. The first is do the item box to see if there's anything in Put them in there until it's time to sell them off. And actually let me check the map real quick. And see if there is a close convenience store. Yep. Imported brands. Oh, we got pawn shop. Never mind, let's go back and sell the plates. What am I thinking? Oh, she was running towards me, doofus. <laughs> and... I think he looks... Okay, I'm the doofus now, though, because I forgot to save, which is why I stopped there in the first place! Okay. There. I can do it. Okay, so that's... Let's go sell off some stuff. Irashimase! Sell stuff first. Oh, that's okay. That's right. No, I didn't want to buy. I am having trouble clicking. Let's do this. There. Oh. Didn't realize it would be quite that much. Well, we're gonna... Oh, 
him out just a little bit there, but first let's see what he can what I can actually buy here. Okay. Well, before Arigatou Before I buy that there, let's see what's across the street. Seminon was the, the the secondary Seminon was the best they offered. Le Marché. I don't think this is going to be a convenience store. Okay, this is where you get gifts for your girls and for people that you want to work with you. Okay. No, that's not going to give me what I want. So let's go back to the map and let's find a better convenience store before we spend the rest of our money on stats. Don Quixote is going to be the best for that, that's for sure. But with making that much money all at once, we're saving. See, you can do it easy this time. Don Quixote! You want a Slurpee? Uh, what flavor? Bubblegum? Got it. There we go, see? Do not want toughness or... I'm gonna do stamina. So. There we go. Dude, was there anything else there that I actually wanted, though? Blue no, I'm sorry. All I got is bubblegum. Didn't you see? Oh, you got a bad luck stat. So, so I want to see if I want to see if we can get any side stories, and we can't. Oh, we haven't fished yet. Let's. Easy starter. Left where to cast your line by moving the cursor with the left stick, press A to cast. When a fish bites, it will start pulling on the sinker. As soon as the red mark on the sinker enters the water, press A to pull. To find out by using bait and different kinds of fishing poles, see fishing info. Let's do a little bit of fishing, why not? There's a fish right there, so we'll throw you right there. <laughs> Okay, oh, I guess we don't reel it. <laughs> yeah, got a little fishing mini game and a crime job game. <laughs> oh, somebody got somebody's attention. Oh. 
It wasn't hooked. Big nibble. <laughs> Oh, we got somebody interested in it. Rhythm action game. What? A Botson bag? 10,000 yen inside. I'll take it. Hey! We'll do we'll, we'll do one more bit of we'll do one more and then I'll, I'll this can actually be really useful sometimes. Finish fishing, fishing finish. But yeah, there's actually some fun stuff you can get out of fishing. Usually it's items and, and fish, which you can sell, but. Okay. All right, we're gonna upgrade some abilities because we got a lot of money now. So, Phoenix Spirit! And just as quickly, 100,000 gone. That was the last one because that's another 15 million. I don't have 15 million, so still we did good there. My weird oh, <laughs> your birthday! By the way, uh, to everyone who is watching, uh, it's currently Captain's birthday, he's officially 12 now, so uh, no, <laughs> but uh, you yeah, know, he's an old coot just like me, uh, just about a decade younger. So, happy birthday, Captain, by the way, and thank you for being here on your birthday. I know that you have so many choices currently during the middle of this pandemic, so I appreciate you, you being here. Anyways, that all said, let's go ahead and continue on. Because, no, I'm not singing to you. I'm here. And as to what the weird video was, um, if you are familiar with the Snapchat filters, I have favorited the uh, baby face one. Yeah, you totally would be out clubbing on your birthday. You, you and your wife both are such club rats. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes, actually, how much you guys are always at the club. Okay. Have a... Oh, sorry. I got a prompt here. So. Yes, I refuse to sing for you on my YouTube recording <laughs> for your birthday. I'm sorry. Well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Captain. Happy birthday to you. There you go. You got it. All for you. You redeem C mode. Okay. Okay. 
Now, the way I changed it, if you read the word wording, it's not that I sing for the next three minutes. It is the next dialogue that comes up, I have to sing through. So, that's going to be interesting. And here we are. Huh? You think this is a joke, pal? Mm, what's this guy on about? Down at Pretty Pissed. There's a fight going on down there. What kind of a clown goes on a raid with a big hunking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons! You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword. This is why I was hesitant to sell to you. Huh? You're making this about me. Awful cocky for a two-bit black market front. Whole point of business is giving your clients what they want. Sounds like an arms deal. This ain't something I want to get involved with. I deal only with clients I respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Oh. Test. The hell you on about now? You and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine. You want to fight? I'll take you. See how you like your precious can opener when I'm using it on you. <laughs> Indeed. That's the point. This is a test of your proficiency with a weapon. Ah, I ain't gonna feel sorry when you lose an arm, or if I straight up end you. And I'm not singing the phrase. I hope you're prepared. There you go. I do have to keep the volume down a little bit. There are other people in this house. And the high notes I can only do so loud. the hell are these booze with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen. But he's got the other sword looking like a dumb chopstick. Son of a bitch. You fail. Oh? Huh? Yeah. Well, what do you expect? Give me a crap sword like this. That staff you've got a way better weapon. This is merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold on the other hand is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? <sighs> but apparently you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you not return to my shop again. Huh? To hell with your damn shop! I hope it burns with you in it. Rumors said you were the dealer to beat, so I went to the bother of tracking you down. And for what? You fraud. Crap, I've just been staring. Don't want to get dragged into someone else's dirty dealing. I'm out of here. Um, oops. Oops. Ah, Majima. Here, it's beating you here. Oh, it's you. Don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar under interrupted. Not so well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment, a real nasty customer at that. <laughs> His name is Fehu, a local arms dealer, quite the master himself too, so long as a weapon rests within his hands. <laughs> what? You know that guy? Sayo. I knew his father for ages, back when he walked this earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sonbori. Yeah, I don't do K-pop, dude. Sorry. 
plus I don't have the right music for it. As long as we are all here, why don't I introduce you? And we've been over three minutes, so I'm gonna stop there. Yeah, no, again, no dance moves. <laughs> I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of us. Both of you. How do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems Fei Hu has been aware of your presence from the start. What? Apologies. Come back yourself. But I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. Now don't you go being stubborn on me too. Delay no longer and put him to the test. I can tell you already, this young man will most certainly pass. No. No dancing. <laughs> and that's... that. I'm stomping my... Well, I stomp my foot up, but that would hurt. Because I'm an amputee. I'm not dancing! <laughs> Say what? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I've got no business with this guy's shop. Oh, come. Majima. I saw the look in your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Yeah. Not Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration, just a few dumb thoughts rattling around. Yes, but what if they were enough to match Fehu's skill? It would be less dumb, stray thoughts, and more akin to a full-blown revelation. At least the it. Pulling out the old references there. Yeah, just a little. Whether you give that revelation time or, s or life or snuff it out is your choice. Care to at least give it a try? Yeah. Listen, I've had a long ass day and I'm tired as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Behu? If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what'll it be? The man is an arms dealer. He can procure for you most anything you want. Hmm. Nah, I'm good with that beautiful bat over there. <laughs> A baseball bat? <laughs> oh, this should be quite an embarrassing ma entertaining match. Any now. Begin! Try mastering the strong defensive potential that a bat offers. When you guard using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. Use a bat to protect yourself against Fei Hu's vicious assault. Probably the style of his I use the most. This and the last one you get, yeah. You slug us out of defeat Buhei and pass a test. Hey who? Buhei? Hey who? Hey who? Ah, I'm horrible. Gee, that was quick. I certainly did not expect you to use a bat so well. You're quite the inter inter interesting fellow. Ah, just remembered using one back when I was running raids in the competition. I think I've improved since then. Surprised me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think of a, I think a spur of the moment selection like that will get you far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think of my bat work? Hi. You pass with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you mean. That's nice of you to offer, but as you've seen, I ain't real interested in the conventional stuff. Yeah, so much to the better. I'm not a common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Uh -huh. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. This is our shop, the D Dragon and Tiger. 
probably a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah? This is my wife, Lang Hua. <clears throat> New customer, yes? Many happy returns. And? You said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it, then? Hi. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms dealer, trader. You're a smith, is that what you're saying? Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon Tiger, you can list a host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipes, and parts. Put the agent's skills to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. <clears throat> they send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such. That is pretty different. Hi. Our goal in all this is to develop a robust network with arms dealers the world over, but some agents' work takes them far from civilization. So basically, you got these guys searching for treasure out in the jungle in this. I'm all about that, actually. I build them using the, dim the deep fryer in my kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Furthermore, customers whose contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward, private arms lessons. Yeah? So I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally. That was only a test. <laughs> You're one slippery eel. Ah, speaking of fish, I just remember I ate, ate yet. I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would you? Ah, yeah. You customer for that side of business, too? You wait. I fix you a feast. Hi, ya. Yes, I am. I'm doing it. Uncle Roger. I can't, I'm not going to try to do his voice. A little bit of the cadence, but that's the closest I'm getting to it. Because any further, it's going to sound horribly racist. Coming out of my mouth. Majima. There's a favor I would ask of you. Huh? What now? I don't need to tell you not to sp spread word of their business. I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. Why is that? A happy couple in some kind of trouble? <clears throat> I cannot share the details now, but in time their shop may draw the ire of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it, perhaps buy something, send them out on research, that sort of thing. Yeah, alright. That more makes me think of the uncle from the Jackie Chan cartoon. Well, well, because it's hi ya and fu yo. Uh, I I happen to really like Uncle Roger. I'll admit it. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting that edge of yours dull either. Well. If we got these guys, let's let's find out what we can do. Huh? Hey, who? We run out of eggs again. You were supposed to be out shopping. Oh. Oh, sorry. A weapons customer stopped me to complain, and I got, guess I got distracted. Oh. You guys seem busy. Want me to come back later? <laughs> oh, much miss on. How are you? I'm sorry I had to see that. <laughs> Hello, much miss on. Anyway, back to eggs. Hey, who? Best price is at market next, t next town over. Oh. You're relentless. All right. I'll be back with them soon. Uh. Oh, while you're there, you can look for equipment for Majima-san, too. Eh? What? But I've never done agent work. Uh -huh. You want Hey, who to do what? Uh. We told you about agents, like treasure hunters, but find equipment and parts. Hey, who? Go find good things for Majima-san. Make lots of money. Is this work really such good money? What do you do exactly? <laughs> this is what we do, Majima san. I'm actually sending him off. That's hilarious.
So if I give extra funds, increase the success rate and shorten expiration time. Gotcha. I'm gonna spend way too much on this just because I want to see how it works. Excuse me, Speedy Gonzalez. Okay, search request done. Next time you choose agent destination in the search. Oh, and don't forget you can pay a little extra, too. <laughs> extra funds motivate agents. Get better things. And also come back sooner. Ah. A little tip to get them to work harder, huh? Makes sense. All right, good luck, Fehu. Hi. Thank you. I will do my best. I'll contact you on your page or when I return so you can pick up what I find. Now, make sure to lock the door while I'm out. I'll be going now. <laughs> yep, I ruined the 69. Sorry, not nice. Do a dispatch nature to see how long the search will take. Press the start button and highlight equipment in the pause menu. Do not dispatch another agent until the first one returns. When enough time passes, you receive a notification on your pager to return to the dragon and tiger. So I'll leave and I should get a page almost immediately. With his speedy Gonzalez with all that money. Wasted a lot of money, I know. Ah, my pager. 65810 and 29 make dragon, tiger, and equipment. Something must have come in. Yeah, I couldn't afford 2069, I know. Not my style. I was like, hey, who's back from the equipment search? What what he found? I got to be by the dragon and tiger. I'm not going to spend that kind of money on, on it again. I mean, just enough to boost things, but see what we got here. We got equipment search results. There's an old rundown shopping district near Sotlumbori. Managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looks from the shoppers. Twins or clones? Negotiation partner's doppelganger appears. Resounding success. Mission went even better than that. Than hoped. Steel, iron, plastic, and lead ingot with a metal bat and a dagger. Here you can receive the equipment, item recipes, parts, or assets found by your agent. The equipment is immediately ready for use. Recipes enable you to craft equipment, provided you have all necessary parts, and earn enough money to pay the fee. If the name of an item is not known in the crafting is not shown in the crafting menu, it means you have not yet discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Dispatch agents to various locations to obtain many different types of parts. Once you obtain a new piece of equipment, it also becomes available for purchase in the shop. Crafting it will be cheaper than buying. Mm. Equipment recipe parts. Not bad, Fehu, not bad. I'm not a professional agent, but next time we will call on one of the agents in our network. I'll continue looking for more agents as well. Hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful, resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get it. Makes sense. I guess if you get a one-of-a-kind weapon, you ain't gonna want to sell it to some agent guy. Yeah. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that. So get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free, you lucky man. Get lead ingots. Get quality iron. You got iron gear. You got timber. Driftwood. Earth handcuffs. Flint stones. Meet the flint stones. You can find parts at regular shops too. Look around and show uh, show fu show fuku You bring parts, we make equipment. You bring money too. Otherwise, we no eat. I can craft or sell you more of any equipment you already obtained in the past. Getting a recipe without ever having the item does made doesn't count though. Ah, got it. I send agents off to find recipes and parts for you to make me awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. I gotta start saving up so I can afford all that. Mm. Wait. By who? 
Eggs. Where eggs? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I was so busy with the equipment search that I forgot all about shopping. Again. <sighs> Ooh, a food. I know that's 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 a that's a hi ya. Mm. Yeah, my my son. It will take some time to make preparations for a more substantial equipment search. Ah. Sure, take your time. I'll go find something to do and come back later. Good luck with the prep. Okay, so I can't actually go through a search right now. Well, that was fun. But, I wonder how Feihu and Langhua are doing. I'll drop in to see him later. Well, that would suggest I can talk to him right now. So, we'll do that. Once you become more familiar with weapons, Majima san, I will teach you new ways to wield them. Yeah. Not really gonna be necessary. Ain't gotta be a genius to work out which way is the pointy end. Yeah. Consider it part of my service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtained from me untapped. Uh -huh. I'm just saying, I got my own way of doing things. But hey, if you go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. I would also recommend that you work at honing your bat skills. There is a wealth of hidden potential there. <clears throat> you think so? I don't know. I kind of figured bat meets head was pretty much the extent of it. Yeah. No, you have much more to learn. By my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even swordplay if you develop it. <laughs> more deadly than a sword? You serious? So this. Quite. The bat and the katana are alike in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them to heighten their focus. But considered as another class of weapon, the bat's weight resting at the far tip yields exceptional destruction of power. Making it distinctly different than a blade. <sighs> yeah, they're obviously two different things. But the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with a bat that simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat if you ask me. You just whack people with them. This is a truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat fighting skills in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor type. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. What is that? When you teach me a new weapon, to teach me new weapon moves. How about you take me on with that weapon? I'll fight back with a bat. Mm. It'll be difficult for you to pick up new techniques that way. I fear. I believe it is better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. What? You gonna make me a pro baller start by playing catch? We ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for a weapon naturally in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited to you. <laughs> I've been looking forward to going another round with you anyway. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> Perhaps that is your true motive. Well, I will be here when you are ready to continue your training. But I haven't done any training yet, so I'm not yet. But we can actually take care of that. Because we can at least do the bottom row. The health boost first. Boot, health boost. Health boost first. We're not gonna train with him yet, but we are gonna talk. To him. Hello, what do you need? Let's do an equipment search. Send out an agent.
ありがとうございました。Okay, so you, so you can also fix equipment that breaks, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so let's head toward. What's a girl doing by herself? Oh, okay. Well, this is going to start a uh, quest line. So we're going to take a quick pause. It's about 40 minutes again. And we're going to end the YouTube recording.